guys, and welcome to another Gimp Alchemist tutorial. I haven't made one of those in a while because I actually, you know, have been doing real stuff besides Gimp. And, well, I don't know. Well, today, uh, say for example you're in one of those awkward situations where you took a picture of yourself and, you know, you were right about to put it up on the internet and then you realize your face is like covered in zits. Well, today I'm going to show you exactly how to deal with that. Using GIMP, of course. Yeah, as compared to using um, Microsoft Office. <laughs> okay, so we see this person here, which they not really too bad. I've seen a lot worse than this, trust me on that. But um, what we want to do is you want to get the healing tool. This is made like almost pretty much specifically for this purpose, and you want to kind of zoom in a little bit and find the blemishes and stuff. You see blemishes people, blemishes right here in front of your face. Now this basically works just like the clone tool except what it does is it actually um it'll do shading correction so it matches the shading of the area so it doesn't look unnatural. But in order to get this to work you gotta find a clean patch of skin, hold down control if you're on PC click or command if you're on Mac then do that and voila look is it it's gone it, ma it magically disappeared people okay and then you just kind of what you do is you find you try and sort of nitpick a little bit and find all the blemishes oh crap it's usually good to just single click with this too because otherwise otherwise you're gonna get some really you can get some pretty interesting and weird stuff with this see look looking a lot better already now you can put now say I don't I have no idea who this is and if you're watching this video and this is you I apologize for for making you out to be my zit mascot but um basically once you get this up and run now you see everything is kind of a lot better we'll just do some minor correction here and just as an added bonus because this tutorial was grossly short I will give you a little bit another little mini tutorial within this one where basically I'm going to show you how to take the picture like this and make it look a little bit better well the back we're not really gonna work with the background too too much because well you know what Hold on a second. This, that blue is distracting me. That is distracting. But um, basically, in a picture like this, one of the best things you could do with it is um, now just sort of imagine you know you're in a um, you're in a situation where it's a different background, and in this case, it's kind of mediumly lit. But if you want to just take this to the next level just a bit, a little bit more correction in here. I think I missed a few spots. Yeah, definitely. I did definitely miss a few spots. What you want to do is this will this kind of just is universally it sort of helps and it'll make give well this is more for women more so because well I doubt men would want to be all sparkly glowy. Alright. Where where did it go? What the Oh, artistic you wanna to go to artistic soft glow? and kind of let's make that a little bit less bright and what this will do is it'll kind of amplify it'll kind of amplify this and make this look a little and there we go it kind of adds more of a general lighting thing I guess you could say and that's pretty much the gist of how you do this it's pretty quick and simple you only really need one tool for it so anyways um, like I said, like I always say, I'm going to put a new tutorial up the second I get an idea for one, and thanks for watching.